Hey, everybody, it's factory building time, and it is time to play Foundry. Let's pick up where we left off. I think we said this episode is likely going to be a bit of maintenance, especially in the beginning. We have exhausted our original xenoferrite mine over here, and that means we can just clean up a bunch of processing. Now, down here... We are going to have to route some xenoferrite plates as well. So maybe, let's see. Although we've only got, do we only have one machine even using them? We do. Let's see. So this may make sense to do a little reworking. Oh, no. What's going on back here? Okay. All right. So I'm just looking at these machinery parts that we've got being built here, and it looks like they are being sent in two different directions. So we'll leave that guy set up the way it is, but we're going to run a new belt of xenoferrite plates into this guy. And those xenoferrite plates are going to come from up this hill. Right? So how do we want to get those guys over there? I think I want to hop over. Hmm, just thinking the best way to get those down there. Do, do, do. Let's see. What I could do is clear out all this junk and then come straight down, like branch early and come across. I guess let's clean up the mess here first. Maybe that's the first thing to do. All this is going to go. Let's get our destruction guy going here. Boom. All of this comes out. I'm tempted to even take the uh, base building blocks up, but they take a long time to uh, deconstruct. And so all of this comes out. Got some extra plates. We'll pick up some extra plates along the way. Right. Yep. All that comes out. And then now these two guys are conveniently located. All I need to do is put loaders on. And it looks like, is that right? Yeah. There and there, I think. And I think those will start pumping away. Yeah, that's it for that. So they, that's the only production that really is taking place up here anymore. All the rest of this stuff comes out. And then that may free up some space. So yeah, you're going to have to watch me do a bunch of deconstruction here. Um, but clearing all this out may free up a path to route plates down to that, that guy that's doing the machinery parts. So we got a lot of use out of this equipment here. Lots of xenoferrite plates, lots of science pack ones, probably, and science pack twos from the materials in here. But it's time to say goodbye. I'm just going to pick this stuff up and I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to take all this and then I can probably use the plates to craft some stuff. And then I believe these are assembler twos that we had just upgraded not too long ago. So that'll help. We can use those. They will be recycled. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you have the game and you've finished it, uh, let me know in the comments and let me know how many times you finished it because maybe you played multiple times. I could definitely see doing that with this game. Like I said, the first playthrough for me on games like this, uh, I'm usually doing what you're seeing here. I'm just kind of um, not not building factories haphazardly, but I I don't worry about the math. I don't worry about having real compressed, condensed uh, factories. I, I try not to make them where they're totally messy. But basically, I'm just learning the game and seeing what's possible. I don't want to 
uh, I typically don't play where I'm trying to perfect things. And then I discover that, oh, it all needs to be reworked because there's this new level item that takes up more space and you can't just fit it in. So you got to redo a bunch of stuff. So I usually leave a fair amount of space so I can expand for things uh, that I don't yet know about when I'm first starting the game. But once you've had a playthrough or gotten as far as we have here, you kind of know what's coming for the most part. I mean, there's still the oil processing stuff that uh, I have not yet got to experience. And I still haven't delved into the level two ores and all of that. So that's probably something I should do as homework between the episodes so I can understand how that's used. My understanding is there's a way to um, get more bang for the buck from the minute from the uh, ore. At least that was what I thought I understood from just following some of the discussion in the discord. I could have that wrong. Yeah, we'll just clean this up or maybe leave that. Okay, let me head back up the stairs here. And so what I was thinking of doing is just branching off here with the distributor and then, you know, coming straight down here. In fact, I, I kind of like that idea a lot. Let's, let's go ahead and change this to downward slope and see where we can do this um we want to line up so let's drill out a little bit here like this guy and we want to make sure we're heading down i think is that is that lined up i can't tell yeah that looks right we're heading down. So hopefully you can see what I'm getting at here. Is that connected? Yeah. Boom, boom. This is more just for, uh, oh, am I off by one? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm going to be good here. Let's uh, finish this up. Yeah, this is more for convenience than anything else. It's not perfect design. But this is an easy way, I think, to get the plates over. We'll just put a distributor over here. We've got some right there. Let me boop, boop, drop this guy down here. And can I do it immediately? I think I can immediately come this way, yeah. So that, I think, gets us back to where we were with everything running uh, the way we'd like it to. I do need to get some more building blocks while I'm out here. So yeah, I think that is this part cleaned up. That didn't take too long. These guys are doing their thing. They're producing level one belts, which are used in our science pack. Is it ones? I'm not sure. I think there's plenty. In fact, let's see where these are used. It's in here, right? Level one belts. I've got a bunch of extra right in here. I'm going to grab a hundred of these and just get rid of them in here while we're at it whoops boom boom and then i'm going to grab some base building blocks while we're here because we used a bunch at that plant at that other place let's see where am i at 200 400 600. How about 1,200? That should get us going. Let's clear out some of the garbage that's in our inventory that we can't really use. Uh, can I turn these Drone Miner 1s into Drone Miner 2s? Let's go to the crafting menu. Or do they need to just be put aside? 
Yeah, that works. 10 advanced machinery parts. So I need 20 advanced machinery parts, and I can repurpose those drone miners. We are short on advanced machinery parts, I know. Yeah. Yep. Are there any in here I can steal? Uh, I can get them from steel beams. Did we get any in here? Let's see. Let's grab the steel beams. And let's see if I can craft some of these. Advanced machinery parts. Let's grab 20 of those. And then we've got, where did I see oh, this drum miner twos? Oh, we've already upgraded drum miner twos. All right, where's the assemblers? We got five assembler ones. What do those take? Can I upgrade those to assembler twos? I'm just trying to repurpose this stuff. Uh, it looks like we can, let's see. Let's make five of these. What else do I have that's level one that could be level two? I guess I thought I had drum miners. Oh yeah, there's one right there, right? And there's two of them. All right, that's what I was looking at first. Whoops. The wrong button. All right, let's grab two of these. One, two. All right, so that effectively recycled our level one drone miners and level one assemblers. So we've got plenty of assemblers and drone miners now to get us through whatever we want to do next. Um, got some steel beams on hand. I got a few technum rods. Level, oh, I've got a bunch of level one belts. Tons of level one belts. I need to make level two belts. Let's uh, make some of those, or no, we have those. All right, let's do this. Let's unload some of these level one belts. Let's see how these guys are doing. I manage the inventory. And then I'm gonna put the breast back in that storage thing. Cause we have no, we don't really have any use for these anymore. Do, do, and in fact, I probably can run a belt over here. We're running an unloader to unload these, but it looks like we have plenty. We're backed up. So let's, uh, oh, this is just, oh, I accidentally took them all. That's what happened. All right. Fine. Level one belts be gone. It looks good. Let's grab some level two belts. And they are in this, this dude, I believe. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to have some of these on hand. We've got plenty of building blocks. We want to do the Olamite and we need more solar panels and such. Let's go to crafting menu. I just want to see what it takes on the solar panels. It's stuff we don't have, right? Circuit boards and energy cells. I really want to see those. I hate building the other ones, but we're going to have to build more of them because I know we need more power. All right, let's go to research and pick something. We don't have much left we can pick. It doesn't require science pack four. So we just pick it random here, I guess. We'll take the batteries, boom. Look at that, science pack threes were actually the first ones done. All right, and at the end of the last episode, I said we'd do kind of a health check here and just see the rest of our main factory where we're light we know machinery parts is an issue Ooh, what about those uh casings no we're good on casings so if we come up here yeah we've got tons of casings tons of electronic parts we're going to reuse these or we're going to use this uh supply pretty soon for uh science pack four stuff 
Our biggest problem right now, I think, is the steel beams still not, not coming in fast enough. That's what's slowing down this guy, I think. Or, or no, actually, you know what's slowing down this guy is we just have a single assembler doing advanced machinery parts. So, boy, if we could scale that somehow, it's just so tight in here. But, yeah, if we could get more advanced machinery parts, that would help quite a bit. Man, it is very snug the way we've set this up. We need those for Science Pack 3s, and it's going to be a pretty persistent bottleneck. Let's just uh, take a look. We're doing a little bit of planning here. And where else we're going to need advanced machinery parts? Because we may need to spin up a whole new solution for that. Because if it's going to hold up Science Pack 4s as well, which it might, then, uh, then we're going to have to come up with a solution. We might as well do it now. Uh, Science Pack 4s? Hydraulic pistons and energy cells. I know I've gone through this a million times. <laughs> do the pistons first. So uh, those need steel beams, right? So we need more steel for that, for Science Pack 4s. Steel's not the main issue right now. It's the advanced machinery parts, but then for high-tech machinery parts, I don't know what those are used for. Let's look at the energy cell. That was the other half, right? The other half of our science pack four were these energy cells. Xenoferrite plates, igneum fuel rods, electronic components, and olumic acid. So I don't think we need advanced machinery parts in any of this, right? The electronic, I mean, the uh, igneum fuel rods don't take advanced machinery parts, do they? Ooh, they do the fuel rod casings. Do. Let's see where. Yeah, so this one machine is feeding two lines, right? There's some advanced machinery parts going up here to do the casings. Oh, wait, we have a stock over here. Oh, I forgot all about this. Hmm. Even with that backed up or that fully stocked, we are still not producing enough just to satisfy the Science Pack 3 line here. Yeah, we've got plenty of advanced machinery parts over there if we need them for anything. But I'm not going to hand feed stuff over there. That's not worth doing. Yeah, eventually, if we wanted to drain out that storage, we could, but. Well, shoot, I don't think, boy, I just don't know. Let me grab the rest of our steel beams here. Let's make a run over to the construction site for Lab 4. I apologize if this is a slower episode here. We're just trying to strategize. It's so dark here at night with these... Research labs. I wish there was more lighting. All right. Do we have enough? Boom. We do. Okay. So it's just on to the Olamic, Olamite products before we can finish lab four. Let's take a quick look up at our Igneum mine and see if there's anything pressing there. These are level one assemblers, but. Yeah, what's going on over here? Oh, I guess they're doing fine. They're just slow. These are science pack ones. Science pack ones. Let's replace these while we're here with uh, assembler twos. I 
It'll help. It wouldn't make a huge difference, but it'll help. Especially when we do two of them like this. So yeah, a little maintenance this episode. Not the funnest to watch, probably. But it needs to be done. All right, so that should help with Science Pack 1s a little bit. It's still slow, but it's probably plenty fast enough. Wow, it's really slow. Come on, guys. Let's go. All right, let's head up and check out our Technum rods. See how we're doing. We've got plenty, right? This production's going fine. We've got a good amount of ore left. Eventually, that's going to run out. But everybody looks nice and backed up. Here, now these guys, um, where is that? Yeah, this could be sped up a little bit, right? We've got the ore. We've got the ore coming in. It's backing up. Got plenty of room on the belt. I don't know that it's holding anything up, but let's go ahead and replace these guys too. These level ones. These are just Technum rods. Boom. Sure. Cool. So that's a little bit improved. Again, not dramatic changes, but uh, that'll help. These guys are... This line is already compressed. I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to bother with it. Let's build some solar panels. Craft menu. How many can we get? One. What do we need? Technum rods and plates. I got plenty of plates. I thought I grabbed plates. One. Let's grab the rods. We've got a bunch over here. We just saw them. Two, three. Craft. All right, that's 20 solar panels. Let's go for batteries as well. May need to go fetch plates. Nope, I'm okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, that's 20 and 20. That's good for solar. I've got more of this stuff I can upgrade. I'm going to just dump that off for now. Get my little junk bin over here and offload the level one drone miners and assemblers. Because I've got plenty on me, I think. Six is plenty. Let's get rid of, where are they now? I'm looking, I'm looking. There's my level one assemblers. Let's get rid of those. I thought I saw level one drone miners in here. Maybe not. Got a logistics container. Hold on to that, I guess. Nope, just level twos. I don't see level ones. All right. <clears throat> so let's go back. Or actually, is there anything else we can do here? And then we'll wrap this episode and then we'll take up the Olamite processing at the top of the next episode. This is all like this whole area in the middle here is just stuff for us right like our uh belts and stuff right i don't think there's anything here that i'm too worried about upgrading yeah this is just our level two belt production not a big deal this is what are we doing here 
What is that? That is machinery parts. That's fine. Yeah, the biggest bottleneck down here, I think right now, at least in the main factory, is this machine right here. It's the only one we've got doing advanced machinery parts. And you can see this belt right at the center of the screen that's feeding our <laughs> Science Pack 3s is not getting many. Oh, and here's the bigger symptom right here. See this empty belt? This is our steel beams. So this means that we are not getting power all the way through the night. Otherwise, this thing would be running steady. Let's, I got a bunch of solar power in my pocket. Let's go chase this down. I got a little bit of time left in this episode. Let's see if we can solve this issue with power. Um, yeah, I didn't bring any blast furnaces, but let's, this belt is just not compressed enough, right? Let's see how he's doing on ingots. That all looks fine, right? This is actually backed up. And these guys we saw were maxed out. And the only way to scale this, I guess we decided, was more blast furnace. Let's see if I, I can. I can, I, can, I can construct one. Let's do it. Boom. And let's think about doing expanding this because uh, this is a problem. I'm thinking what we do... is rotate this Let's show you what i'm thinking let's uh get rid of this guy let's have him unload like off here maybe it's kind of close i guess we could move those back let's uh hop off of that can we move this guy over okay yeah, we got to make sure we get the inputs routed in. So, yeah, this is going to be involve a little bit of work, a little bit of drilling. Maybe we take this up at the top of the next episode. We can get a little bit started, but I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So these are our two inputs. And are those, oh, sorry for that. Let me top back up. Those are not routed anywhere else, right? This is all used here. And initially, I guess I was thinking of expanding out this way with my blast furnaces, but because we've got these assemblers already here, I'm thinking what we want to do is expand this line going this direction. So we can put two or even three blast furnaces and a bunch more solar power, but just have these guys come out in a line and have their, what they need, come off this way, right? Like, when this is all said and done, there'll be something like that. And that. And let's run these belts real quick. I'll show you what I'm thinking. So these will be the inputs, right? A whole, two belts full of inputs. And then a row of blast furnaces. All right, this line gets moved over. And we output our product here. Boom. And then we do a little snake roni. Like kind of out this way. Boom, boom, boom. These come out. And yeah, as far as we go, this this snakes out and doubles back through assemblers and probably two more, at least two more assemblers and one or two more blast furnaces is what I'm thinking. So does that make sense? I think it does. I think it does. And it might actually simplify some of this stuff. Let's get rid of these inputs. We'll just get this started, this episode. That can go, that can go, that can go. All of that can go. And then where is, where are things coming up? Okay, this guy. Just trying to think how we can do this. Let's 
Let's get all this out of here. Boom, boom, boom. This will actually could make this a little neater too while we do it. Yep, that goes, that goes, that goes, that goes. Can fill that in with some of these. Looks a little better. More destruction here and here. And then let's just curve these belts. This is the easy way to do it. You go there and you go there. Okay, that's our input sorted. It's a little squirrely here with, uh, with those guys, but. And then obviously outputs here. Kaboom, kaboom. The smoke bellows and we are producing. Now it feels like this should be drilled out a little bit, right? Are these guys drilled out? Oh, my inventory is full. What can I get rid of our craft? That I can get rid of. Or can I just feed it into this guy? Let's see. Do do boom. It takes care of that. Um, backpack. Yeah, my inventory is a little full. Machinery parts. I don't need those. See ya. I could craft some more cable. That might use up some of my techno rods. I got level one slopes. Let's just get rid of those. I got level one distributors. We've got plenty of those. Let's just get rid of that. Steel beams can stack a little. Level one conveyors. Let's just get rid of them. We don't need them. All right, that freed up enough space for now. Let's see. Okay, we're good there. And let's get back to drilling a little bit out of here. Yeah, we got to extend this out quite a bit. Let's start with that and see. I got plenty of building blocks now. We stocked up on those. Boom. Backpack, blasted furnace. And he can go, let's keep the panels on the other side. That looks fine. Let's run our belt through. Not sure if we'll do two or three of these. I guess we can see how production goes with one, one additional. But we're definitely going to need the solar panels we built. Yeah, and I wish we had the level twos or the uh, cool solar panels, but we'll work with what we got. Let's go ahead and pop our output loader here. Boom. Output. Steel ingots. Hmm. All right, let me <laughs> let me drill this out for a second. All these three. I'm just gonna make this loop a little bit further back in case we want to expand it. And since we don't, what the heck was that? Oh, look at this. Found a tunnel. Not not welcome. Not a welcome tunnel. Yeah, I don't really need that. I must have filled this in earlier or something with dirt. All right, we'll deal with it. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, since we had base building blocks or building blocks underneath the belts, I figured we'll just do it here too. Put them there too. Boink. 
but just thinking let's run these belts uh, out this way we can extend this pretty darn easy but this gets us started and it gets these assemblers going too i gotta drill this out as well let's wrap this episode here and when we pick it up we will continue expanding our steel beam construction and hopefully get a little bit closer to a compressed belt we amped up our um what are those xenoferrite ingots or something what are those guys again yeah xenoferrite ingots we ramped that up at the top of the episode we did some cleanup at the main factory got rid of some obsolete equipment uh, due to our xenoferrite mine being exhausted and then we upgraded some assemblers that we saw that kind of could use it. But yeah, next episode, let's pick this up. We'll pick it up here and again, amp up our steel beam construction. And then we need to lay down those solar panels and expand this array. So we saw that that belt for our steel beams was completely empty. And that really only happens when you run out of power. So let's pick it up in the next episode. For now, this is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.